Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, this morning once again I welcome you for the study on this discipleship. In the episodes of the last two days, we started studying on the discipleship, and the biblical foundation that we have looked upon is from the John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 31, where we read, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know, in this scripture, Jesus is talking about the inward conviction about being a disciple is to be that we must continue in his word. That means abide in his word. Continue in his word. Just not knowing, but continuing. Then we must follow that word is that makes us disciples you know continue and follow do it do the, doing that word then we are called to be the disciples of him and that leads to knowing the truth and the truth will make us free then he said in john's gospel chapter 13 verse 35 that jesus said an external sign being a disciple which says here by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have love one to another. If we have love one to another, the love of God, the God kind of love, unconditional love, unselfish love, which we express externally is the external sign being a sign, a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, yesterday also we studied that we need a master. Without master we can never be disciples. To be a disciple, there are two roles to, 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 to the two roles that are involved. That is, one is master, another one is disciple. Disciple is the one who learns from his master. Master is the one who teaches his disciple. That's where the discipleship comes. And also, we understood that there is a huge difference between a believer and a disciple. All believer, believers can never be disciples, but all disciples will be. The believers in Lord Jesus Christ. And now we will go into the next point to be noted of being a disciple is understand the meaning of the word disciple. Disciple word according to Collins dictionary it means that a person a someone who follows somebody's teachings or the influenced by someone's teachings and the model of his life becomes a disciple and this word disciple comes from the root word discipline if i want to be a disciple of jesus christ i must first adopt myself to the discipline of jesus christ i cannot have my own thoughts and claim to be the disciple of Jesus Christ. All that I have to do is to keep aside all my thoughts, my plans, my ideas and all that I have and adopt all the thoughts and all the ideas and all the behavior and the character of the Lord Jesus Christ and discipline myself like him. Then I will become his disciple. So discipline is very important. We, when we look into the life of Jesus Christ, he was a very disciplined person. Though he was called, at him was a model of a man so that we can follow him. We cannot follow somebody who is not a man. So that's why Jesus became man so that he can show us a model to be the child of God and the disciple of Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, in the area of prayer, in the area of uh, fulfillment of the word of God in the area of uh, spiritual relationship with the Father and in social relationships, family relationships and all his uh, life throughout, he was a disciplined man who was a role model for many. So to understand this, let us go to another scripture portion from the Bible in the New Testament that is in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 6 to 8. I'll read it for you. Here it reads like this. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear that man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow 
considering the end of their conversation jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever here the scripture again lays another layer of the discipleship verse 6 is saying we can boldly say that the lord is our helper and i will not fear what man shall do unto me means we uh, our helper to become disciples is the lord himself and verse 7 says we must remember those who have taught us the word of god and follow their faith we have to follow the faith the following matter in our spiritual leaders is we have to follow their faith and also it says we must consider the end of their conversation we must consider our leadership and choose the right things from the word of god and follow and finally in verse 8 it says jesus christ the same yesterday and today and forever there is one role model or the all time role model is jesus himself we can follow him we can copy him in every area of our life discipline like him in the spiritual life is a uh, psychological or emotional life his physical life his relationship social life everything you will see was a best role model so he is an unchanging model that's why people of god we have to keep in mind that we must have lord jesus as our master and lord and follow him in all the aspects of life and become his disciples like him then the word of god which says that we are called to be the imitators of christ will be fulfilled in and in and through our lives people of god this morning i am encouraging you we have to look unto our mentors learn from them the word of god and follow their faith and consider the ways in which they have lived for god and make it a model and above all we have to keep the lord jesus as the only role model for our lives to be the children of god and the disciples of the lord jesus christ so i would like to conclude this talk on this point in this morning here and we will meet you tomorrow again once again with a new thought in the lord until then i pray that the lord may bless you and keep you amen